We all enjoy having a nice garden with different kinds of plants, flowers, and vegetables. It takes a lot of time and effort to make our garden grow well. But sometimes we have problems with diseases and pests. How can we fix this issue without using pesticides? One good solution is to attract helpful animals. Planting flowers that are native to our area not only makes our garden look nice, but also brings in important insects like bees and butterflies that help pollinate the plants. Providing places for animals to live, like bushes, trees, and birdhouses, encourages them to stay in our garden. Also, putting out bird feeders and bats can bring in birds that eat pests like caterpillars and aphids, which helps keep our garden healthy. It's important to check our plants regularly for signs of pests and diseases. This way, we can catch problems early and keep our plants healthy. Here are some good bugs that we want to welcome into our garden. These bugs are our friends and will help us control the pests that harm our plants. Let's start with ladybugs. Ladybugs, also known as ladybirds or lady beetles, are beneficial insects in gardens. To attract them, plant flowers they enjoy such as dill, fennel, cilantro, yarrow, marigolds, cosmos, and daisies. Ladybugs are beneficial because they eat pests like aphids, scale insects, and mites that harm plants. They also feed on flower pollen and nectar, which aids in pollination, similar to bees and butterflies. Grown-up lacewings like to eat nectar, pollen, and honeydew, while their babies called larvae are busy hunters of tiny pests like aphids, thrips, and whiteflies. When these baby lacewings hatch, they crawl around on plant leaves looking for pests to munch on. They eat pests at all stages from eggs to adults. To attract green lacewings to our garden, plant flowers that have nectar and pollen like alyssum, cosmos, dill, fennel, and sunflowers. These flowers not only attract adult lacewings, but also give them the food they need to stay and reproduce. Hoverflies, also known as flower flies or surfeit flies, are a diverse group of insects found worldwide. They have a special ability to hover in the air, similar to helicopters. These insects come in different sizes, colors, and markings but they typically have a slender body with bright colors like yellow, black, or orange. Many of them resemble bees or wasps, but they don't sting. Adult hoverflies feed on nectar and pollen from flowers, helping to pollinate plants. Female hoverflies lay their eggs near aphids or on plants where the larvae can find food. The larvae are hunger predators, mainly feeding on soft-bodied insects such as aphids, thrips, and small, small caterpillars. While hoverflies aren't as effective at pollinating as bees, they still help by visiting flowers and spreading pollen. Gardeners can attract hoverflies to their gardens by planting flowers with plenty of nectar and pollen, such as daisies, asters, and yarrows. Parasitic wasps, also called parasitoid wasps, are insects similar to wasps, bees, and ants. Instead of attacking their prey directly, they lay their eggs on or inside other insects. The young wasps that hatch from these eggs feed on the host insect, eventually killing it. They target insects like caterpillars, aphids, beetles, and flies, which help reduce the need for pesticides. Parasitic wasps use various methods to lay their eggs and feed on their host. Some inject their eggs inside the host's body, while others lay eggs on the outside. Some even control the host's behavior to protect the young wasp. Although parasitic wasps might seem scary because they're related to stinging insects, 
most are harmless to humans. Ground beetles have flat bodies, long legs, and strong jaws for hunting. At night, they hunt pests like caterpillars, slugs, and insect larvae. They usually have dark colors with patterns on their wings. Even their larvae are predators, eating small bugs in the soil. In addition to hunting, ground beetles also help break down dead plants and animals in the soil, which recycles nutrients and keeps the soil healthy. To attract ground beetles to your garden, keep the soil moist and provide hiding spots like rocks and mulch. They like a mix of open space and cover, so having different plants and bare patches helps. Avoid disturbing their habitats to support ground beetle populations. Mantises are unique insects known for their distinctive appearance and hunting skills. They have long front legs that they fold, making them look like they're praying, which is how they got their name. These bugs mainly hunt and catch other bugs using their quick moves and strong front legs. Female mantises lay eggs in cases called Uthacae, Uthacae, I think that's how you pronounce it, so Forgive me if I butcher the pronunciation of that word, which they attach to twigs or other objects. The baby mantises hatch from these eggs and look like tiny adults without wings. Praying mantises eat a variety of insects including flies, mosquitoes, moths, crickets, and grasshoppers. Surprisingly, they even prey on other praying mantises. They prefer gardens with diverse plants where they can hide and find food. During the day, they hide to protect themselves from other animals and bad weather. By having different plants, rocks, logs, and mulch, and by keeping the soil moist with regular watering, will attract praying mantises. It's important to attract beneficial insects to our garden because they help keep it healthy and thriving. Insects like ladybugs, lacewings, and bees are crucial for pollinating plants, which is necessary for many crops to grow. They also eat pests like aphids and caterpillars, which helps control their populations and reduces the need for harmful pesticides. By planting a variety of flowers that make nectar and pollen, we can give these helpful insects a place to live and food to eat. This promotes a balanced ecosystem in the garden and reduces our dependence on chemicals. Overall, attracting beneficial insects makes gardening more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and feel free to share this video with your friends. Your comments would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated for new videos. Again, thank you, and see you next time. Happy gardening!